You know, I spend most of my time right over there, Marie Condoing the day's big stories into the perfectly organized news closet that is my monologue. But sometimes I like to root around in the news crawl space for the unread magazines, the old camp t-shirts, and the broken light brights that no longer spark joy. <laughs> I thank them for their service, toss them into a cinch sack, then lead out my car window and drop it into the Salvation Army donation bin that is my segment. Meanwhile... <laughs> Meanwhile, heals a nation. It soothes the troubled soul of this great experiment we call democracy. Meanwhile, <laughs> passengers aboard a Spirit Airlines flight were in for a surprise on Wednesday when a bat appeared and flew back and forth through the cabin. Here it goes. There it goes. And oh, we go, yeah, there it goes again. <laughs> I know it's kind of shocking, but in Spirit Airlines' defense, their slogan is, look, you want to fly to Chicago for 60 bucks? You get bats. <laughs> Meanwhile, if you're lucky, if you're lucky, you get bats. The only thing I've ever seen in Spirit Airlines is raccoons. That's right. You know. Meanwhile, a dog shelter here in New York City says that an adorable puppy with a mustache already has a long list of families waiting to adopt her. The puppy went viral last week thanks to her unique mustache-like markings, but for some reason there's still no interest in her brother. <laughs> and to whoever... Hello. And... Whoever ends up adopting uh, Dolly, the name of the dog here, I just have one request. Please dress her up like a little saloon owner. <laughs> okay? This is not... This isn't even a setup for a joke. It's just something that my writer, Kate Sidley, thinks would be adorable, and I agree with her. <laughs> if saloon owner is not possible, Kate will also accept Dolly as a dastardly villain tying a hamster to the train tracks, Dolly as Tom Selleck in Magnum P.I., <laughs> or Dolly as 1972 Burt Reynolds. <laughs> Meanwhile... That's key. That's key. Key paw placement. Meanwhile... Coors Light has just branded itself the official beer of drinking in the shower. <laughs> That's actually an upgrade. Previously, it was the official beer of weeping in your ex-wife's birdbath. <laughs> Check out this little ad they actually made. Coors Light and taking a shower are a perfect match. You're going to catch some water in your mouth anyway. Why not make it a Coors Light? <laughs> also, that was good. That actually... Tonight, I'm going home and I'm doing this. Also, can I just ask why it says, do not attempt? <laughs> I am sick of commercials telling me not to do the thing they're doing in their commercial. If I want to go off-roading in the Arctic in my Ford F-150 like you did, Ford, that's my business. And if I sideswipe a tree and get stranded on a frozen lake bed and I have to eat my own foot until I'm rescued, the first thing I'm going to do is go straight home, shower off with a nice Coors Light. <laughs> but, hey, getting people... But, hey, getting people to consume your product in the shower is a whole new profit avenue. And other brands are already getting on board. Jim? After a long day, there's nothing like a hot shower. But if you're also hungry, there's Von Gelder Shower Chili. While other chilies can be thin and watered down, Von Gelder's is thick and chunky. So it can take the heat. And our delicious shower blend is perfectly seasoned giving you the kick you need while hosing off. So the next time you're stepping into the shower, crack open a can of Von Gelder Shower Chili, the official chili of eating chili in the shower.